How to create a spreadsheet in Canva. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how we can actually achieve this. Now, it's actually very simple and easy to do. So just follow along and I will show you two different methods that we can go for. Now, the first one is going to be the, you know, easier option yet at the same time, it could not, you know, it's not going to be perfect for your needs unless it is. Uh, and you may be confused with what I just said, but basically we will search for a spreadsheet in the templates section. And if you find something that you like and you can work with, for example, this one, go ahead and select it and start adding your elements to it. This is if I mean, if you do end up finding the right spreadsheet for you, it's going to be a lot easier than creating it yourself in a design. So just go ahead and search a little bit within the spreadsheet uh, templates. If you find something that you like, good for you. Just click on it and click on customize this template. If not, then we can just go ahead and do it the, you know, the actual uh, from scratch way. So uh, in this case, we want to just click on create a design. And then we can just go ahead and add whichever design that you actually, uh, I mean, the size that you actually like. It's not really going to be a specific size here. So I'm just going to create a new design with a custom size and I'll just get back to you once we're in. Okay, so just use the standard A4 size for this, but you can feel free to use any size that you actually like, whether it's going to be more vertical or horizontal, it's not going to make a difference. Now, basically, we are going to be using an element that is, you know, built in from Canva, which is going to be functioning as a spreadsheet and it is actually a spreadsheet. Uh, which is tables so you want to go to elements section on the left panel here and i mean i did not even look for it but you should find this right away from the tables section here so just go ahead and click on see all and if you don't find them you can just go to the search option on the top and search for tables but for me i can just see them and i just want to click on see all and right now we have these options to choose from we have the these with these specific colors and we also have um these ones at the middle and the, the ones in the right so just feel free to pick whichever one that actually suits you best so i'm just going to go for uh this yellow one or actually let's just go for purple this time and i believe this is going to make it a lot better because it does have the uh first uh column here uh, you know with a different color and stuff but you can feel free to customize it to your liking anyway i'm talking too much just go ahead and click on it and it should be added to your uh, again with design here so if you just go ahead and first try to line it up so we can just go ahead and move it like so and move this to the side like so and also the bottom here to make it line up with the page this is what we are trying to achieve here at the end so like so now here you can see within each uh, space here between columns we can just click on the plus icon it's actually going to add another one and here it's going to add another one and another one and so on. And not only that, but we can also adjust the size for them. So you can actually see we can, you know, move them to the right to make them a little bit wider or the opposite. And same goes here. If you want to add space between, uh, we can also make it, you know, more uh, or less. And we can also add more uh, to it like so. So add as many as you actually need. Feel free to do so like so. And if you wanted to change specific colors and stuff, you can just go ahead and highlight the items that you want to change the colors for. And you can just go ahead and click on that. And you can basically uh, make it, for example, red. Click change all and it's actually going to change. And I just changed the text color uh, by accident. You should do this one on the left panel instead. So just go ahead and do that. And it's going to actually change for all. And same goes here. If you want to highlight all of these, you can feel free to also change the colors for them. I forgot to select this one. Uh, so in here, you can also feel free to, again, just change the color of these boxes. Um, now, I believe there's going to be an easier way to do it if you can just go ahead and highlight them. But uh, anyways, you can feel free to add elements in them. Feel free to uh, change the colors for them and all of these things. Now, you know, you can add, you can remove. And also, if you just you know, hover over this column here and just click on the three dots at the top. You can actually see all the um, options for these co these columns for merge cells, add column, delete column, move column right, move column left. And you can actually, you know, play around with this as you would in Excel. 
Same goes for the rows here. So for example, this one, you can click on the three dots right next to it and you will find all the options here as well. So this is pretty much what you actually need to do. Obviously, I did not create a proper one. I just wanted to show you the functions that you can actually do in the in the uh, in the actual tables. Uh, so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.